this is a short video on pandas. Okay, so what is pandas? So pandas is a library used in Python. It's used to read and write data. You know, the data could be stored on a you know CSV file, on databases, JSON, and so on. It's also used to clean data, which can then be used for analysis. All right. So let's jump right into it. Okay, first we're gonna learn how to read a CSV. So make sure you have Jupyter Notebook installed and um, I just created a new file here. Um, so always make sure, or this is at least what I do, I make sure that the data source and you know the Python file are at the same spot, okay? So let's go ahead and run it, all right. So step number one, we're gonna import pandas as bd, okay? So once that's over, uh, we're gonna read it onto Python. So for that, I'm just gonna hit df equals, we're gonna set a variable. And uh, so the df stands for data frame. It doesn't, I mean, it can be uh, anything you want it to be since it's a variable. So um, we are going to read this file on here, so equals pd dot read csv, and then make sure you have the uh, the name of the file. Okay, so this is where my file is located at. You can see here supermarket sales. Uh, let me copy the whole name here, and let me paste it right back here. Okay, I'm gonna run this to see if this works. Alrighty, success. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So I'm just gonna use df.head, head or tail. So, uh, you know, the head means it's gonna grab the first five rows of the database, okay? Or uh, the, the, the data. Um, so here we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So that works, all right. So we have uh, read the CSV file onto Python successfully. Okay, so what's next? All right, loc and iloc. Loc and iloc is used to extract data from the table. Let me show you an example, df.loc. So one important thing to remember is that loc, it extracts data based on the table's label, whereas iloc, it returns or it extracts the data based on its index placement, okay? So let's see it in action. So the way you um, punch it in is it's gonna be something like row and then column, okay? So row, let's say we want every single row. So hence why I put a colon. And the column, you know, like I said, it's supposed to be, you know, the label of the column. So let's say that we want, you know, the data from city. So I'm gonna make sure you put it in quotation marks Okay, so I'm gonna hit shift enter. There we go. Okay, it works fine. But let's say you want two rows, um, or I'm sorry, two columns. Let me go ahead and get city and gender. Okay. Again, let's make sure it's in quotation marks. This is not going to work. The reason why, it's because you're supposed to put, no, if you're having two or more columns, make sure you put it in the brackets and there you go okay so that's the functionality of loc let's look at iloc so like i said uh, iloc it returns the data based on the index value so let's say we want the first three records so i'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and fill it up so zero till three let's see what it returns here we go that's it guys, I mean, that's what loc and iloc is for, okay? Let's see what's next. Okay, filter. Filter is used to filter data from the table. So let's go ahead and look at the table again. So under customer type, we have two types of customers. Um, let's say that we want, you know, the count, of the female members in this table. So we're gonna create a filter. Um, 
you can go ahead and punch in the conditions here. So DF customer type should equal member. Okay. And DF gender should equal female. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this here. Let's make sure it doesn't have any errors. Okay. That runs okay. Um, so in order to get the data, we're going to lo use look. And there's something called value counts. We're going to use that. Uh, we need the sum of the values. So there you go. Your answer, so you can set this to a variable here, female members equals that, and now you can call that. So there you go. So in this table, we have 261 female members. All right, next is group by. Group by is used to get data based on unique values. So let's go ahead and look at the table once again. Okay, so let's see the payment column here. So let's say we want to calculate, you know, uh, the income based on the payment method. So let's go ahead and see how many unique values we have here. Okay, so we're going to hit DF payment dot unique. Okay, so we only got three unique values here. So uh, this is a very appropriate example to use a group by on. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and select, you know, the columns that we need. Um, in our case, we're only gonna need payment and let's take gross income here. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we're going to use, I'm just going to overwrite this variable. Okay. Um, now we're going to use a group by function. And the argument for this function is going to be the name of the column. Okay. Now, the thing is that we want the sum of the gross value, right? So we're going to hit sum. And now, oops, sorry about that. Let's print out, print out this table, and there you go. So for cash, your gross income was 5,343, and so on. All right, so that's how a uh, group by is used. All right, apply. Apply is used when you want to run a function through a particular column, okay? So let's go ahead and check this table out. Um, you can see this column called time, okay? It says what time the purchase was made at. So let's say for analysis purposes, we only need the hour that the purchase was made at, okay? So this is where we're gonna use apply. So let's go ahead and create a new column here okay this is where we're going to use apply so for the apply function the argument is another function so i'm just going to use lambda here and what we're going to do here is i'm just going to split the string based on the colon just so we get and then I'm just going to get the first element out of the list. So just so we only get the hour. Okay. So let me go ahead here. Uh, I'm just going to say x dot split. And we're going to split this based on the colon. And we're going to need the first element. Let me run the table once more. There we go. Okay. So we just created a new column. And it works just fine. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stanley, and you guys take it easy. Bye.